We're driving a 2016 Ford F-150. This is a friend of mine's vehicle. And you guys know I'm a Ford tech. I work at the dealership, so naturally she brought the vehicle to me. I've seen this in the past. You'll be driving, vehicle was cold, you get a couple miles down the road, then all of a sudden, engine coolant over temperature condition. What ends up happening is, look at the trans temp right there. It's completely fine. If the engine was overheating, you'd be seeing the trans temp go up too because they directly correlate with each other because the trans cooler has engine coolant running through it would cause, and that would cause the trans to overheat as well. It doesn't do that. It's completely fine. It's kind of semi-cold and all of a sudden the light's triggered and it goes off. Why is that? Well, the cylinder head temperature sensor is actually what indicates the level that the vehicle's actually at coolant wise so it's not an actual real good indication of what your engine coolant temperature it actually is because the sensor is just basically plugged into the back of the head screwed right in it doesn't even fit inside a uh, coolant jacket at all so you're basically metal on metal and you just screw the sensor out screw a new one in and it ends up becoming uh an issue because the sensor becomes biased i remember back in 2015 16 17 these were real common more 15 and 16 for the sensors going bad and that would cause this condition right here that we're dealing with fans racing check engine light on trans temp is normal but yet all of a sudden a couple miles after a cold start we're already fan racing something's no doesn't make sense right reservoirs full got a bad cylinder head temperature sensor nine times out of ten let's change it let's uh see what happens this was just a couple miles into the run and already on so we're going to run a full eight miles after we change it and go from there all right so we have a 2016 ford f-150 with 109,000 miles it's got a five liter coyote in it and this is a friend of mine's vehicle uh she said she was at work the other day or college or something like that she didn't even make it two miles out of the parking lot it started to warm up a little bit and as soon as it started to warm up a little bit it flagged a p1289 over temp code cylinder head over temp code and the cylinder head sensor is what actually makes the dummy gauge read on the dash where that sensor is is on the passenger side pull wheel off pull liner pull your molding and stuff off hopefully you don't break any clips i broke one but i have a couple this is normally the one that breaks, one of these two right here. And uh, then I took a clip puller, pulled my harness away from the back to give myself a little room right here. And then on an angle, see this connector here? This two pin connector. It sits right back around My finger is touching the sensor right here. It's hard for me to show you what I'm looking at. Right here, it sits on an angle. You can feel the brass collar on it. See if I can go a little bit more back there. I don't know if I can. That's it right there. You gotta fish your hand back in there blind to change that sensor. Normally what a key, good key indication is, normally a good key indication is your trans temp is fine, the vehicle seems to be running fine, and then all of a sudden it flags it, and the vehicle's still cold, it's full of coolant, fans start racing. If you shut it off and leave it for like five or 10 minutes, typically you can start it right back up and it'll be acting fine, but the code probably will flag again. Sometimes it'll stay. You'll shut it off, wait five, 10 minutes, and it's still gonna be active when you go to start it back up. Sometimes it'll clear for a little. Sometimes it'll still be there. When you go to start it back up, cylinder head temperature will be pegged all the way out, and it'll show all red for your coolant temp. 
and uh, the fans will be racing. You'll be cranker, 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 and it'll be just flooding the cylinder with fuel because it thinks the vehicle's that hot. Instead of letting it run lean, it's going to richen it, and the vehicle won't start properly. And then you could flood mode it by holding the brake down and holding the gas down at the same time, and then cranking the vehicle over or push button starting. And what will end up happening is you'll clear it out, and then it'll start, and it'll it'll, it'll start running like crap. So you're going to have to turn it off and let it sit for a while and then start it back up. Sometimes you can get it to clear. Sometimes you need a code reader to clear it so it will know temporarily to get you where you need to be. So we're going to change that sensor out right now. Again, this is my setup. It's a 19 millimeter. This is a, I got this off Amazon. I love this little ratchet. It's a... Uh, Titan 90 tooth quarter inch drive mini ratchet and then I put a three eight or a quarter to three eighths adapter on it and then I put my 19 back there and I feel back there and slip this over it and pop it loose and then I just spin it out it looks like this and then when you go back in there it's like throwing flour on it to find a wet spot you got a feel for the hole back in here I feel the hole, and then I can ease her on in there. Try to catch a thread. There we go. Starting to spin in. It's not exposed to liquid at all, so it's kind of like a calculated coolant temperature, not an actual live coolant temperature. There it is. It's locked in. Now we'll just snug it up and go back here. kind of feel for it all right there it is right there I feel it oh I'm not even on it I missed the all right there it is right there all right there we are I gotta find that guy's new now Snug, no more than snug, that's it. And then go ahead and plug your connector back in. There it is, my connector's back in. Go ahead and put all your lines and stuff back where they go. Unfortunately, this one line, I broke the tab on it, pulling it off, so I'm gonna, tie, I'm gonna zip tie it off to this other one right here so they, so they stay together. Come on, focus, camera. So these two stay together. All right, let's get in it, clear the codes, and let's go for a drive. Let's see what happens when I start it up. Let's clear the codes real quick. P1289 cylinder head temperature sensor circuit high input and it will make the truck go nuts dumping fuel not starting all kinds of stuff so we will erase it check engine lights gone it said fail but it did erase it I don't know why this handheld does that let's go drive it now now you can see the temperature sensor is actually tracking properly as I'm driving. It's getting hotter gradually, gradually, gradually as the cylinder head is uh, heating up. The temperature sensor on the left, where before it would start to move and then it would just go max out. Or it would set a fault and it would drop out the other way. It would never track slowly like this because it was a biased temp sensor. 2015 and 2016 were really bad about that with that sensor.